Hey guys, it's your Bob Games, and welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are having the most popular day ever. And as y'all saw before, I'm today going to be doing a tour of my brand new Bloxburg house, which I'm so excited to show y'all. I told y'all a couple videos ago I'd be doing a house tour soon, and today is that day. Today is the day we are doing the big house tour reveal. And guys, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for 600 subscribers. We just hit it recently, which is so funny because we hit it on the day we're doing our 500 subscribers subscribers of it which is it's so funny that happened but guys thank you so much for 600 subscribers i don't think we're gonna be doing a big event like 500 subscribers maybe something a little small maybe even nothing at all i mean i don't really know yet um i haven't even really thought that far ahead um but guys let me know what you guys think and i'm so excited to show you guys my house let's go and see it right now so as you guys can see, this is the front of the house and I love how this turned out so much. I think it looks so good. And this house is also so much of like opposite from my last house. My last house was like a small cozy cottage, but for this one, it's like a two story like family house and I love how this one turned out so much like typically I'm more into cottages but this one turned out so good like look at the gardening we have here I just love how this turned out like the lawn too I haven't done my lawns like this in so long in Bloxburg um I feel like I'm I spend most of my time building for others and like building my own houses so like I haven't even like built in so long and it's just so good to be building a Bloxburg again we even have like an outside garage area which is so good I even lined it with like LED lights and it's so it looks so good like I've never done a house really like this before but I just love entirely how this turned out and we even have like two entrances one here for the garage and then we have one here for the front door as well and then you guys can come in from either side and I just think this looks so good and that's really it for the outside um, for the inside right here let me open the door real quick we have a light nice little entrance area it's very simple I didn't really know what to do again I'll be adding on to my house because there's some bits obviously I'm probably gonna be changing when they update and I'll probably be coloring these walls too it's right now like a fossil gray color um, and I might switch it but I kind of like how it adds like to my house it's like a gray but it's like more of a fancy gray I kind of like it um, Next, we have this little area, which I don't even know what to like call it. I guess it's like an add-on to the entrance, um, really for just like decoration. It honestly turned out so well. I just love how this looked. We have like the desk, the plant, we have the pictures, and it turned out so nice. Like y'all, look how nice this turned out in my house. I think this just adds so much to my entrance area. Over here we have the kitchen, which again turned out nice as well. Like this overall, this house is one of the, my favorite houses I've probably ever built. It looks so nice. Ignore this basket, I don't even remember where it came from, but other than the basket, this little basket thing, it looks so nice. I just love like the touch of like the brick wall. It just came together so nicely. And I just love this chandelier I put here too. I like never use this light, but it turned out looking so good in this one area. Okay, next we have our little, I guess, living room area. I guess this would be considered more of a lounge area though, because it's not really a TV, it's not really a, like a living room. It's just really couches, a really nice comfy space, which by the way, I want to go for like a nature look for this house, which is why I have these pictures here, which look so nice. I found them and they have like the same color scheme and they're like both plant pictures and they look so nice on this wall. Like it looks so good. Um, we have some couches over here. It's very much like, yeah, like I said, like a lounge area it's very it's very nice I love how this looks in my house at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it but it's honestly looks so good also if y'all are wondering what this stair area over here is it's actually my basement which I actually just now realized I forgot to finish this it's uh, let me show y'all it's not even done yet we might have to do a part two of the this house tour because I literally forgot this basement was even here until I just like literally just now so we're probably gonna do a part two I'll show y'all the basement when I'm finished but I literally forgot that was there like I'm not even joking like I didn't even realize till just now so we're probably gonna have to fix that later later so stay tuned for our part two maybe I don't really know but um this is the rest of the house um again I don't even know what to call these I guess like just like decoration spaces here too we have like a little decoration space I guess I don't really know what to call it um this is my kitchen let's see what did I not show y'all yeah we have again like I said I want to do a nature-y theme for the house so we have another nature picture right there a lot of plants again. 
Um, that's also why over here we have the little flower and rose. It looks so nice. And then right here is the first room. This is the bedroom. This is the first bedroom. This is the downstairs bedroom, my favorite bedroom. Um, let's come in here. Over here we have a nice little window area. We have um, painting a plant, again, the nature theme. And then over here, we actually have the the wedge shelves. I don't know if that's accurate what it's called, but this is from the newest update they had. I told y'all I love these shelves. I was gonna add them to my rooms and I actually did. Um, then we have some plant pictures over here and then look at this bedroom. This is probably the best bedroom I probably ever built. I love this bedroom so much. We have the elevated bed and then we have this beautiful desk area area over here which is so nice I'm so proud of myself for this desk area I just love it so much I just I don't I don't know what about it but it just so it's just so good then we have a little dresser area here as well and it's just the detail I put into this looks so good for like a bedroom and guys if you see over here some of y'all might recognize this is my um aesthetic grid board i actually have a this is my custom advanced placement hack i created and i actually made a video on it which y'all can see i'll be linking it down below in the description if y'all want to add this to your bedroom as well it just honestly looks so good and we even got the laptop over here, which is also in the new update. They added you can close computer, which is so cool in Bloxburg that they added that. And this bedroom, honestly, it just looks so nice. Like this is my favorite bedroom. It's it just it's overall. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so nice. I love this bedroom. Um, and yeah, guys, that's all for this bedroom. Let's go see. Next, we have upstairs. So I'm gonna be showing y'all the upstairs because we did run through the whole downstairs again. I forgot about the basement, but we're gonna show you the upstairs now. Okay, y'all, so this is the upstairs of my house. Honestly, it looks so nice. It's so simplistic, but I really like it. Um, to start over here, again, another advanced placement hack that I created. This is my custom advanced placement shelf, which you guys, I also made a video on how to make this too. I'll be linking in the description as well if y'all wanna add that to your house, which I think it looks so nice. It's something as like you can use as decoration, but it looks so nice in your house as well. You can decorate it any way you want, which is so cool. I love this. I use it in almost all my houses now over here we have like a bookshelf which i might switch because i don't really like it i kind of added it because i want to do like another like bookshelf look um but i might delete it because i don't really like how it looks here so we're just like gonna ignore it for now over here is my little dining room area which also came out so nice i might switch the chairs though because i think it kind of clashes with like the linen kind of look Probably my least favorite area in the house, but it's not bad. It could be definitely be better, but it's actually not bad. I actually kind of like it. Right here is bedroom number two. This room overall, again, like the other one, came out so good. Can we just take a moment to look at the shelves here? I used the new, I think they're the geometric shelves. I don't know if that's the right title for what they're called, but I used them and put this on this white wall because it was so plain and it looks so good. And then we have more paintings over here um, with this like pillar separating them. It looks good as well. And then we have this like dresser area, but this bedroom is so good. This is probably the second best bedroom that I've ever made other than the other bedroom. But the way I did the shelves, like I'm literally obsessed with those shelves. Like it looks so good. Like the overall look of this bedroom is literally so good. Next up is the bathroom, which is very nice. I like how this turned out. It's a little bit crammed though. Um, but other than that, here's the bathroom. We have the little tub and shower area right here. And then over here we have the like toilet area with like a nice little painting. I've used this painting so many times in my house. As y'all can see, I've used that like 30,000 times. Um, I might switch some of those paintings, but I think it looks so nice. And that's basically all for the upstairs area. Again, turned out so nice. I kind of like the downstairs better, but you know, it turned out so nice. There's obviously a couple things I'm probably gonna be changing after this video. Again, stay tuned for the part two of the tour where I finished the basement and I probably will show you guys what I changed. And then the last part of my house is this little balcony area, which I like so much. It's like so like simple, yet it looks so nice in my house, like on the outside. And yeah guys, that is all for my house. Not me jumping off the balcony, but yeah guys, that is all for my house. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you all stay tuned for part two, obviously, because I, I 
kind of forgot a part of my house. I know, guys. I didn't even, I literally didn't even realize until I was filming, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I wish I could show you guys the whole official house tour but you guys did see a pretty good majority of it it's pretty good let me know what you guys think of my brand new house again guys thank you so much for 600 subscribers we are growing so fast let me again let me know what we should do for 600 subscribers make sure you follow me on everything linked down below in the description and make sure if you guys haven't already join my blogs for day bread the code is trim Bop. i'm on there all the time i film in there i literally do every single thing on there and i'm active on there all the time so you guys definitely want to go join up and guys that's gonna be all for today's video i really hope you did enjoy have the most boptacular day ever and i'll see y'all next time bye